Uh. Yeah. Siege. Riley. Taz. Yeah. Set me free and give me death, there ain't no other choices When I lay down and go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices Little whispers in my head, man, is you fake a lawyer? Alright y'all, can I get a focus job? Hey, motherfucker Alright, so, we're gonna act like this is my first time filming this Today, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about me Now, I just wanna put this out there I'm not doing this for you guys to feel sorry for me or any of that I really just want to do it to motivate you guys, to let you guys know that like you're going to have some adversity in life, you're going to have ups and downs, but your mindset and the way you push through can change everything. So to start, let me give you guys a little bit of background. Growing up when I was younger, I did not come from a lot of money. Uh, it was my mom who was a, a waitress full time uh, taking care of me and my sister. My dad was in my life when I was younger. Uh, and I had like great grandparents and, and like great aunts and stuff. But as I got a little bit older, some things happened with my dad and I chose not to have him in my life anymore. Now, when I was in fifth grade, my mom got married. And looking back at it now, it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. So I went from not having anything really to being privileged. I got everything that I wanted. My stepdad was great was great to me like anything I could pot anything I asked for it got I mean I'm talking we're having steak dinners multiple times a week like it was great uh, life isn't always perfect though uh, they did end up getting divorced and we went back to not having a lot of money uh, I for all of high school and into college up until this past year was staying in a one-bedroom apartment with my mom like me and her shared it uh, so when I was home from school, she would stay in the living room and I would, she would give me the bedroom. Uh, now, that is one of the best things that's happened to me. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, it's hard to be grateful until you see the other side, right? You know, a lot of you guys, uh, maybe not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys have are very fortunate and have great parents. And so it's just harder for you guys to really know what it's like to live without all that fortune and so i'm super blessed that i've gotten to see both sides and now looking back at it i was not as grateful as i should have been um uh, so let's fast forward let's fast forward to uh i get my associate's degree i went to community college then i transfer out here in buffalo i transferred to ub and uh, at the time i was dating this girl that i've been dating since my senior year of high school so I transfer out here and community college did not get me ready. School's never been my strong suit. I'd never even planned on going to school and then I ended up getting an associate's degree. It was super crazy. But that's besides the fact, first semester I did not do so well. I did terrible actually. And I lost some of my financial aid. And so the following year, so this is my, this is my junior year of college. So in the fall, the terrible, in the spring, uh, I just had federal aid, so I still could afford like school and everything, plus like loans and whatnot. But I didn't get good enough grades to boost my GPA up. So after my junior year, I didn't know how I was going to pay for college. So I enrolled in a summer class, uh, my junior year summer, and it didn't go so well. It was going great, and I mixed up the dates on a midterm. And because I got a zero on this midterm, I would not be able to pass the class with the grade that I needed. And so that led to me having to make the decision of how am I going to pay for school? Like I don't have my parents to help pay for it. Uh, at the time I was, I was active on the fishing team and I still wanted to be uh, like a part of it. So I was looking for places out here in Buffalo to stay at. And uh, I was looking like renting rooms and stuff and it was all like a little on the higher end of my budget and not really worth it. And so my friend, shout out to Taylin, uh, who was in a sorority, uh, offered me to stay in at their place. And it was $200 a month. I'm gonna try to put up a picture on the screen of the size of this. It was basically a closet, it was right off of the kitchen. And now it wasn't the sorority house, but it was all sorority girls that lived there. So it was me, uh, and five other girls living together uh the experience we don't need to go into that 
wasn't the greatest, but the room was microscopic. And so I got a job at Walgreens as a shift lead, which is like a manager, and I was able to uh, like save up. So my goal was I was gonna pay for a class to take that fall uh, to boost my GPA back up to go back and, and finish my degree. Now, deep down, I really didn't want the degree, really didn't care, but I felt like I made it this far, I should probably get it. And so I took that class in the fall while working uh, full time at Walgreens. And at this, and I think it was October 28th, uh, I, I was on my way back from a fishing tournament in Arkansas, and uh, me and my uh, XX ended up breaking up. And that's what sparked my fitness journey. So that's when the hundred day cha the hundred day challenge. I think I made 136 days in a row to the gym. That's when all that started, was us breaking up and me looking in the mirror and like, dude, like you you let yourself go, bro. Like we gotta we gotta change this. And so I was working out all the time while working 40 hours a week at Walgreens and taking this online class. And I hated I hated the job at Walgreens. I was just like, this is so not it. Just the people that the environment that I was around. I was like, not it's not like minded people. You know what I'm saying? And so let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, we'll go to like February. So I'm still still at this uh, sorority house in the closet. Like sh I'm telling you, I really hope that I can figure out how to put up the picture because it is it was not like this room is way bigger than it. It's probably like from me to the wall right there. Like super small. Like two people in there wasn't ideal. It's still it's still insane that I had like people over and like like girls and whatnot. And like, it was uh, literally a closet. But let's fast forward to the spring now. Um, I am. Um, where where are we at? I had I had quit Walgreens. I had started bouncing at a bar, and then I ended up quitting that. And then like COVID happened or whatever, and uh, some things happened with my mom. And like currently, my mom is not in my life. Uh, some things happened with the whole pandemic. Lots of stress. Um, basically like a mental breakdown i don't want to go into too much detail because i don't know my other family probably would not appreciate all that information being out there but long story short in like march or so uh at one point my mom was missing and me and my sister went down there trying to look for her uh we were able to find her but mentally she wasn't there and then she's still down there now to this day and i've spent i spent a lot of money uh, trying to help her in every way I could and family and friends spent a lot of money to help her in any way they could and it's just it just hasn't been working so I've had to make the the very tough decision to uh, just disassociate myself with it because you can't you can't save someone else if you drowned right it's just like the airplane when the airplane's going down they tell you to put your mask on and because of her going through all that I ended up having to move all of my our stuff out of uh the the one bedroom apartment that i i was in throughout high school and so at this time i was still in the closet and my mental health wasn't good i got incompletes in all my classes that spring because i couldn't focus i couldn't focus for for anything i just school was not on my mind at all you know i was i had the demons that everyone everyone faces and so I lost my train of thought. We moved all of my stuff out of, uh, out of the apartment, and I did not at that point. I didn't have an address, so this is where I say that I was like technically homeless. Uh, my current roommate, Carice, uh, he had a apartment. Uh, it was like a studio apartment, and he was spent most of his time with his girlfriend at her, at her place, and so he offered to let me stay there because uh, he knew that like the environment of being in the sorority house was not going to help uh, my mental at all. You know, your environment plays a big factor into you. Like who you surround yourself with is huge, and like that's just not. It just wasn't who I was. I just needed to like be alone, and so I, the most. I'm so thankful. Like if you end up watching this, Caris, like. Uh, I'll probably never be able to pay you back for that because uh, you saved me. So he let me stay in, in his uh, like uh, studio apartment. I didn't charge me any rent. And so I was able to save up some money. Uh, and if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to help my mom in the way that I did, even though it didn't turn out to anything. But because of everything that happened with my mom, I went from 
just paying uh, my own rent to having the burdens of life all thrown on my shoulder in a very short amount of time. So I've, I already paid for my insurance, I already paid for gas, uh, but I had to pay for my phone now, I had to pay for rent, uh, and I ended up having a lapse in my insurance which has spiked it. So this whole process has cost me a lot of money. I had to buy a new phone and whatnot. And while I was in his studio apartment in the spring is when I started on TikTok. And it's gone up from there. It's honestly changed my life. Uh, and now it's to the point where it's got me opportunity where I'm going to be living in Texas in a big house with a bunch of people that are all chasing the same dream as me. And it's because of you guys, your guys support through all this. Um, and like the, what the big, the big message that I want you guys to take out of this is that life is gonna throw a lot of things your way and you have to choose whether you wanna keep moving or not because you will get left behind if you don't keep it moving. And find people that are gonna be there for you and support you, friends, family. My ex was a huge factor. She helped me a lot. Very thankful for everything that she's done for me with, and throughout this whole process, even though we aren't together anymore. Uh, Carice, super big help. Family, friends, uh, my sister, everyone helping me through this process and you guys, because I would go on TikTok and that would be my escape because everything was closed. I had all this going on behind closed doors, uh, and I'm not one to wear uh, my heart on my sleeve, so I just I just stuff everything down, which isn't isn't healthy. You should let it out and talk to somebody. And you guys, like you guys support on TikTok, we would go live, and I'd just sit there and talk with you guys for hours, and it just it just made me feel like I could be something, you know. And it wasn't it wasn't till till spring when TikTok started to started to take off where I was like. I could really do this. Like, I can make this happen. I've always thought that I was gonna be something, you know, especially not not coming from anything that like I could be. I could be one of these YouTubers. I always watch YouTube. Like, I, that could be me. Like, I have the personality for it, man. I want to inspire others, and now here I am. Pursuing that dream, and it all started because I believed in it, and because I didn't care what other people thought. I was just gonna go for it, regardless of. If I got judged, I mean, there's followers I lost. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I gained all the followers that actually matter, that are actually in my corner. And that's why I wore this. That's why I wore the hoodie, man. That's why we, we have the saying, you know, dream chasers, because that's what we do, man. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Now, I'm currently two, I think two classes away from getting my degree, but I will not be attending school this spring because... I'm going to be pursuing this uh, this career full time. I'm gonna see what I can make out of it. It's a big risk, uh, cause like I still have all the bills and stuff that I have to pay for. Some of these other guys, they luckily don't have uh, too many other stresses in life. They don't have to pay for anything. But I I have faith in myself that I can make it happen. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not out here trying to chase a million dollars a year. I just want to be financially free, doing what I love. And if you guys like videos like this, drop a comment below. Uh, and you know, maybe we could talk about some other topics, open up a little bit more, let you guys get to know me a little bit better. But as always, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy Jay Lane, and go chase your dreams.